Alright, what is going on guys? Today we are watching Kermi Khan Communicate Season 2 Episode 11. In the last episode we had the, well, mo main focus was the Valentine's kind of chocolate. Uh, really cute episode. I'm really glad that Kermi in the end finally, you know, gave the chocolate to Tadno. Um, even added a little bit of extra sweetness to it to say, you know, this is the best one. Tadno saying, I'm really, really glad you gave this to me. It made my day. Um, just overall very sweet and oh god, I love the... The, the lovey moments, you know, where it's kind of moments between Tadno and Komi. Of course, you know, the main focus of the anime is um, just getting friend, uh, friends. But yeah, a lot of the time, it's it's a nice mix of Tadno Komi and getting friends for Komi too. But yeah, uh, as always, guys, if you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button and like the video as well. And let's go into this episode right now. <laughs> Why does her face look like that? Is it another interesting animation episode? <laughs> the moments when Komi just dies of embarrassment. So cute. Oh, she sent something because it was Valentine's Day. <laughs> oh, she has a perfect attendance record. Cool. <laughs> oh, she wasn't that scared. Oh, she did? The exquisite offering you made. <laughs> it wasn't bad. Deliberately increasing the amount of cocoa in the hour. Like, yeah, just overanalyzing it. Okay. You lost? <laughs> oh, all she's thinking about is Tadno. What is that look? <laughs> oh, it's been a while since we've seen something like that. She's like, oh god, what did he think of my chocolate? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> Yeah. Look at this tall ass motherfucker in the back. God damn. Komi hasn't moved an inch. Oh, okay. Aww. Oh, why is she running away? Did you really just get a picture of her ripping her fucking tights? Or did she not notice and then she's gonna be like, Oh, Komi, you ripped your tights. Oh, bare skin. Ooh. This girl's such a freak, man. Look at her, like, crawling. Holy shit. Komi, are you telling me you don't notice this fucking crap? The, the best thing to always do in this situation is just tell the person. Straight away. You want to rip them? Yeah, okay. Jesus Christ. She brought a sewing kit or something. Oh, she brought new tights. How do you know that? How do you know that? Oh, of course. Well, at least she's being nice about this, but, you know, weird, regardless. It was just the tiniest hole, though, so I don't... I, it, it's such a big thing in anime, but really wouldn't be that big of a deal in real life. Let me take care of your old tights. Bruh. She's gonna be sniffing these things. Is she... Oh, I thought Yamai... Oh, my fucking God. I don't believe it. I can believe it. I don't believe it. <laughs> Komi. This girl needs a rest in. Bare legs. Oh, God. I don't know. <laughs> he took a good long look. <laughs> oh, she just sh showing all the... Uh, Scenes that she was in. This is the first time we're speaking to her? This girl is on the fence. Wish, I wish she was my childhood friend list. Oh, I see. <laughs> oh, she is like an actual demon. Or like an Oni. <laughs> she's gonna smack the guy. Oh, she's furious. <laughs> Just these little minor inconveniences, which would just make me blow my frickin' top. Bruh. Can you tie your laces properly? So she's a nice person, but goddamn does she get angry easy. Interesting personality. Gino just went to stay out of her way. 
<laughs> a bath, sleep, and a, a trip to a betting center? What? It's like the world is just saying, like, giving her the middle finger. Just ask for help. Tadno, go untangle her headphones. No, oh, it's going down slightly. Okay. <laughs> Run away! He's gonna blow her lid. Oh, Komi, you saved her. She's gonna untangle her? Oh, he's so sweet. <laughs> I've been having a hard day. Thank you, Komi. Oh, batting center. Oh, bad translation. It says betting center. Did I read betting, batting center as betting center? No, I'm pretty sure it said betting center. Wow, good job. Hey, good job, Komi. Damn, Tadano's good. Nice. Were they already friends or is that another one to add to the list? Is this another new person? Sato Amami. This girl. <laughs> like I was just showing all the people in the background at some point when they were shown in the anime. Sato-san is sweet to people. Okay. Oh, she's like a pushover. Is this not exhausting? Specifically your mom's. <laughs> Bro, she really help anybody out with anything. <laughs> oh, this girl. Grandma, you freak. What is wrong with you? What is wrong with this guy? I mean, it's just little things, I, I guess. But like, you know, asking for your family's panties or going to buy you lunch. That's a bit too far. Yeah, doing it all at once. Oh, God. I hope all these people appreciate her, at least. And that's, like, a reasonable thing to help someone with. You're not just, like, split it between you? Oh, that's really sweet. If she, ne if she ever needs anything, she can ask Komi. <laughs> Class vice president. <laughs> Hi, hi. Thank you, Najimi. Oh, You could be a little bit more selfish if you wanted to. Do you... What do you think? Do you appreciate it? Oh, good job, Sato. Sidelock's cross concealment. <laughs> what the fuck are you doing, Najimi? <laughs> oh, that's sweet. Sweet you're seeing Najimi doing stuff as well. Lazy ass. Oh, never mind. Come here, someone wants to ask what she's reading, but she can't. Oh, it's Shogi. I'm going to switch off. Shogi's too hard to learn. A meddling old lady. <laughs> Long live Shogi. <laughs> What's wrong? Are they having a fight? Uh, I haven't seen this before. They're still both thinking like, oh, but I know I was right. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's a new one for Tadano and Komi. They better hurry up and resolve this quick. I don't like this. Oh, that's true, actually. Got a little extra bit at the end. Who wants to wave on the gold mother blocked you? Oh, so we get to find out who was wrong. Satisfied, Ver- <laughs> She's satisfied, that's funny. There's an extra bonus. Ushirodo looks like a Pokemon of some sort, I just can't think of which one. What is- what is the grandmother's review? Oh, she made 27 friends already, that's awesome. Alright, so that was a very good episode of Kami Can't Communicate, Season 2, Episode 11. Uh, not a lot to kind of pull out of that episode, just some really nice fun moments. It, re it was actually really refreshing to see. Um, kind of Tadano and Komi have a little squabble there. It was actually really cute. Um, but that, I, like Najimi said, that really does show kind of how close they are together now. Um, yeah, you know, friends do that. It's not always just happy, fun moments. Um, but yeah, the, the fact that Komi's got 27 friends, to put that into perspective, uh, I mean, you usually have, I would say, 
in most cases you probably have more friends like in in school and then as you grow up your circle grows smaller but you know the people you keep closer are, keep, stay closer but 27 friends is an insane feat considering they're all on kind of like a buddy like a proper buddy basis as well so yeah Kobe's doing great the, the fact that she's gonna uh, end the series well presumably end the series with 100 friends it's kind of it, it's kind of crazy um but yeah overall a very good episode uh, i can see again that the animation was a bit off of this episode didn't really bother me um but uh, i think someone mentioned it was due to the 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 usual director uh, having health issues so yeah completely fair um but yeah i think it's two more episodes left or one more episode left maybe two i'm not sure so looking forward to those episodes and yeah any guys i want to thank you guys so much for watching my reaction have a nice rest of your day and peace out